Yo, dudes, what's up? This is Jay Barr with Bar Creative on a rainy day in Colorado, about to get some snow. But anyway, guys, this is in 10 or less. How do you make a MIDI controller work with Machina if it's not a Machina controller? That answer is in this video. As always, check the description to get to the quick cuts if you want to just skip right to it. Otherwise, enjoy, keep making music, keep having fun. Later. Yo dudes, what's up? This is Jay Barr with Bar Creative and this week I'm going to show you how to take any MIDI controller and use it with the Machina software. So if you're like me and uh, you consider yourself a drummer or you're just trying to put <coughs> some drum loops in, what you're going to notice is, uh, so let's go to, let's just open any old kit here. I'm going to open the first one I see, I'm going to highlight, do Command A and delete that out. And let's pretend I don't have a machine controller at all. Um, and so maybe I have the software, um, whatever. Whatever the case is, if you're trying to set up a MIDI controller with Machina, what you're going to notice is it just plays a pitched version of whatever sample is highlighted and it doesn't really act like a drum kit. All right, so that's not what I want. What I want it to do is I want it to behave as if this was a drum pad like the machine controller and I can play the whole group. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to do is this. It's actually really easy to set up. You're gonna click on group. If you're on sound, it's just gonna affect the actual sound. So again, we're already getting a pitched version of that. I, I don't want the sound to be affected. I want the whole group to play. So I click on group, and then um, what you gotta make sure is you have, so let's, like, let's say you're in this screen. You have to go to this controller looking knob thing. Click on that, and it's gonna give you your inputs, outputs, stuff like that, and you want to be clicked on the input. And once you do, once you're on group, you're using this controller thing, whatever, I don't know what the official name of that is, go to input, and then you go to source, and you just pick whatever MIDI controller you're using. In my case, it's an MPD-226, and now check it out instantly. It's controllable. So the whole thing now, it's controlling the entire group. So it's that easy. Now, there's a couple things that I don't necessarily like about this, but again, if you, let's say maybe you sold all your machine gear, but you still have the software and you just have other MIDI controllers, um, these are the couple drawbacks. One is if I go on note repeat, and like, let's say I wanna put hi-hats down on an eighth notes. All right, um, so let's go ahead and record that and let's just see how that goes. So eighth notes. All right. Now, what you're going to notice is not everything is lined up, so it's kind of a pain. You could quantize it, but if you have varied kind of, you know, you got 16th notes and 8th notes, if you quantize this, it's going to put them all on either 8th, 16th, or whatever you quantize it to, so you don't really want to do that. So, um, again, I just highlight all these, kind of a pain, and what you can do is you can shift, once they're all highlighted, you can shift this over to be right on the one, and now everything's totally synced perfectly. All right, so that's the one drawback, is I noticed that when I go to note repeat, it doesn't repeat on the one. Um, it's kind of delayed for whatever reason, and so that's kind of one funky thing that I'm not crazy about, but it still works. You can still do it, um, as you can see. I'll take note repeat off. The next thing I wanted to show you guys is if you, like, all right, so you got your drums. Let's pretend that my drums are good and I'm happy with them. Let's go off and just pick any old bass. So, um, bass sample, good. Just go with it. And so let's say I start to record a bass track, right? So I got this set up, and let me just play along like, actually, let me stop this. Uh, what I wanted to show you is now that you've changed that group setting on your kit, whenever you play another instrument, you can actually hear the drums. And that's super annoying. They're not even highlighted, but they're coming through. So what you have to do is you got to remember to go back in, go to group, go to this control thing, input, and you just got to put that on none. So once you have it programmed, um, you have to switch it back. Now that's kind of a tremendous pain in the butt. It doesn't sound like a big deal, but what happens is you go off, you put your bass line down, everything's cool. You go back over and you want to add some more drums and then all of a sudden it's just behaving like it was. Um, so you have to go back in, go set it up, and now it's back to acting as a group. 
So kind of a pain, adds an extra step. For me, it kind of was one of those things where I had an idea and then it was like I was getting the other thing and the idea went. So that's kind of a pain. But again, if you just have a copy of the software in any old MIDI control, this even works with, uh, with keyboards, which I have one over here. <laughs> um, but rather than plug it in and waste your time, the idea is the same. Any MIDI controller can pro uh, program Machina in this way, even if it's a straight keyboard setup, you can use it um, as a drum pad. So I hope this is helpful to you guys. This is Bar J Bar with Bar Creative, and until next time, enjoy making music.